Hey everyone, so today we're going to look at the various limited editions of the stand. The first one is the Doubleday signed limited edition that was published in 1990 along with the revised, uncut uh, version of the novel. Uh, this book is, for some strange reason, referred to by people as the Coffin edition of The Stand. Uh, this is the book. Um, it's not a Coffin. It's just a black box. Uh, the black box, I am going to go on record and uh, say that I do not like this limited edition at all. Um, I got it probably sometime around 1992 or 1993 um, because I missed it when it first came out and it cost me at the time, I don't know, probably a couple hundred bucks, 200 bucks, 250 bucks, something like that, I don't remember, but not a lot of money and thank God because I didn't like it when I got it and I like it even less now and people are paying crazy amounts of money for this thing. Um, it comes in a wooden box that is incredibly cheaply made. Uh, if you store the book um, this way, the cover just sort of comes open like that. There's nothing that keeps the cover on. So uh, if you sandwich it like that between books, then okay. If you put it like that, maybe it looks okay. But this, I like to store it this way so you can see the plate on the front and you get this sort of opening because it, the thing doesn't, you know, there's no latch. If, if they had a latch here, it would have been nice. Um, it comes with a piece of, uh, an engraved piece here with the title. And then you open this thing. It's like a cheap, thin piece of balsa wood almost uh, to reveal what I always feel looks like one of those um, Barnes & Noble classic faux leather bound uh, editions that you would find at the front near the checkout aisle of Barnes & Noble um, of like Jekyll and Hyde or Dracula. And Mark, if you want to cut away here for a second and put up a screenshot of one of those crappy bl um, black Barnes & Noble editions, that might be cool. Looks a bit like their bargain version of the Bible if you ask me, even down to the gilded page edges. Put the two next to each other and the stand may rise from its coffin. So you can see how much this looks like one of those 1495 piece of crap uh, Barnes & Noble books. Anyway, uh, you take this thing out of the box. All right, it does have a nice sort of red uh, satin lining. I will give the box that. Probably the nicest thing about the box. And then we're left with this big, fat, uh, fake leather bound um, Barnes and Noble looking book. Uh, it's ugly. It looks just, I can't, I can't even. Uh, you got the gold text block. And I mean, the nice thing about it, the, the one nice thing about it is that it is signed. It is signed uh, by King and um, uh, Bernie Wrightson, who did the illustrations. Uh, so you do get the signature. And it's one of 12, I believe 1250? 1250 copies. 1250 copies. Um, so why this thing is selling for thousands and thousands of dollars is a mystery to me. Uh, also, um, it was done in a lettered state. But the lettered state is exactly the same book, exactly the same book, exactly the same production. Only difference is instead of a number, you get a letter uh, on the signature page, which isn't even a different signature page. It's the same thing. So to me, uh, I was never, I never felt um, that I wanted to pursue a lettered copy of this because it's exactly the same book. Uh, never interested me. Never interested me. So anyway, um, I believe this book uh, does have the same interior black and white illustrations as the trade edition. But there we go. There's an example of one. Um, and that's it. That's the black box Doubleday 
signed limited edition. I'm not gonna say, not gonna say the coffin edition because it's not a coffin. Doesn't look like a coffin. Um, and that's just my unpopular opinion of this book. Okay, and that was 1990. Now we're going to fast forward to 2020, uh, 21 maybe. Uh, very recently, uh, PS Publishing in the UK released The Stand as a, as a limited edition in two states. The first state was the numbered state. Uh, the, uh, the books were published in a slipcase that has wraparound artwork. Already nicer than that double day thing, I, th I say. And they, they cut the book up into three separately bound uh, volumes, which I think is also pretty cool. Um, let's take a look. So uh, each volume has really cool wraparound artwork. The books themselves are illustrated. The boards are illustrated with also with wraparound artwork. And it's got pretty cool illustrated end papers. And the uh, signature sheet follows. It was a thousand copies um, signed by the artist, not by King, like all of these were. Uh, so it's a thousand copies. It does have full color, I believe full color. Yeah, full color interior illustrations. Um, and it's a very nice set of, uh, of books. And I do like the way that they uh, separated it into three, into three uh, volumes. So uh, that's pretty cool. I suppose I should show you uh, volume two and three. Are they the same? No. So the jackets are all different. There's volume two and there's volume three. So that is the numbered stand from PS Publications. All right, and finally, we have the lettered edition of the stand from PS Publications. It is a beast. It's a very large uh, book. This book was $5,100 upon publication, uh, which is what I paid. And I don't know, is it worth $5,100? Uh, that's arguable. Um, I'm not particularly fond of this plain gray tray case. It's super plain. Um, even the double day one from 1990 might even be more attractive than this. This is just not a very attractive looking tray case. However, uh, the book inside, and it does come with a piece of artwork and the booklet of all the different uh, art from the book. Um, it, the books are quite nice. They were done in three volumes, just like the, um, just like the numbered. And these are really nicely bound, really attractively bound books. Um, and the front, this is like a little window. So the, the artwork is sort of uh, back behind this window. You, I mean, you can't tell in two dimensions, but, um, and the spines are nice. So these, these are very nice books. Um, let's find this. Uh, Oh, so here's the signature page. It's the only edition uh, from PS that's signed by King. Um, again, people were a little put off that he signed it in Sharpie, but whatever, so I don't care. Uh, the letter is at the bottom, and this artist's signature is below King's. Um, so you have uh, volume one, volume two, and volume three just like the uh, the numbered state. So um, the books are nice, they're pretty. Uh, the gray, the gray, the grayness of everything is a little bland to me. I think PS missed the boat here. They probably could have done something pretty cool 
with the tray case, um, maybe like a Lincoln Tunnel type of tray case, so like a tunnel shaped tray case that has a window, uh, like a recessed part that you could see the title of the stand, you know, set back inside, something like that, that would have been cool. Um, lots of stuff you could do with uh, the um, iconography from this book with the production, I think, and this was kind of, you know, eh. Uh, but, you know, we, we paid our money. So anyway, uh, that is the lettered stand from PS and that completes the limited editions of the stand.